Yeah, Volcán Pacaya is a, is a very active volcano. I mean, it's been active. We can see it like probably once a week, make a, a small eruption, but never like to engulf all of, a, all of the, the city. But that night at midnight, the wind changes. The wind changes towards the city and um, we, we never even thought about it. We were boarding the plane at 5 a.m. in the morning, so we had to get really early at 3 a.m. And uh, we were boarded already. And uh, the captain uh, over the radio, he just notified us to like look out and see like the windshield and and the runway like completely filled with ashes. And then when we deboarded, like when we were at the gate, like everybody was so like surprised, and you could see like the plane. Like the top of it was was almost black and everything the runway when when luggage carts passed through they left the tire marks and everything so yeah it was it was impacting so we decided to go to el salvador because um, it's like a three and a half hour drive and uh so we have to call the airline you know make the changes change the reservations um see if we can with the covid you know tests that we needed uh, another covid test for getting into El Salvador, so we got him, we got the test. So we were driving and halfway there, there was uh, some uh, strikes from the, from this uh, military retired guys that they want their pension and all that stuff. So they blocked completely the roads. We were in standstill traffic. We called that hotline again and they said there was no way that they were gonna get out of there in, in, in near so time. So we were thinking about, you know, not, not getting here, but but at the end of the day, we were, you know, <laughs> trying to, to do as much as Exciting. we could. One, one of the options was to go the other way around, like seven hours to other, other roads. But it was getting late and it's not as safe uh, as we would think to drive at night in those countries. Also from Guatemala to El Salvador. So we, we decided to go the next day and drive, drive to El Salvador. It was, it was, it was tough, tough getting there. And we finally made it to the airport and flew out of El Salvador to Miami and then Miami here to rally so so it was it was a whole experience you know trying to trying to get here but to see the possibility that i couldn't be here was was not the best but um it was a whole journey you could say all of my work and everything just led to this moment and um it was worth it i'm, I'm passionate about seeing gabriel play and, and and i love i love what he does um when he plays and uh, we try to support him and support him as much as we can